So it's actually interesting that we're sitting at, with really calm seas here because it turns out if you go a kilometer or so below us, it's one of the more exciting places on the planet at the, at the sea floor. So we're sitting right on top of where the Cocos Plate is diving underneath the Caribbean Plate. And so because the ocean is kind of a hostile environment in similar ways to how space is, we're able to test out new technologies. The oceans are the source of all life for the planet, and knowing how they work and understanding our impact on them is important for us as a species. And the same goes for other planets, right? We need to be able to understand not only our own planet, but others in order to, to see where we fit in in the broader cosmos and to be able to, to better appreciate what we have right here. Our eventual goal is, is to be able to use uh, these forms of autonomy for uh, spaceflight to go to these, these places like, for example, Europa. Europa is a place that no person can, can go right now with our current technology. We'll have autonomous underwater gliders. They both carry kind of the standard suite of sensors, but then one carries this advanced sonar system, the other one carries a magnetometer. We're looking at the entire campaign, so how you coordinate multiple vehicles so that they're sharing information and making wise decisions in terms of finding things that are scientifically meaningful. For example, one of these vehicles sees something particularly interesting. It may stop the mission and start an entirely new mission on its own uh, in order to survey that area in more detail. The goal of my research is to enable ROVs to do manipulation autonomously. So we'll be able to create a 3D reconstruction of the scene and display that to the ROV pilot to select whether or not they want to do a full autonomous manipulation task. Squiddle's a software platform. It gives the scientists an interface that they can uh, provide real-time annotation and log real-time events on the video from the ROV. Map Tracker is a tool which allows us to plot lots of vehicles on the same map. So on this cruise, we're actually integrating observations from Squiddle into Map Tracker. And what that provides is a real-time feed of where the observations are being applied. What we are doing is akin to the way that a, a parent teaches a child to become more autonomous. You want to uh, guide them, but eventually you want your child or your robot to be able to make intelligent decisions on their own. 